What's up guys? It's your boy Dan Boy, back with another video. Today we are going to have a look at AQ40 and how you can optimize your DPS and get higher parses. In this guide we will be having all will buffs. Of course getting Dark Moon Fair as well helps you greatly in achieving higher parses. The more buffs the better. If you have any questions or the like feel free to throw me a comment down below, a sub and a like would be greatly appreciated. I do also stream on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday from 7 to 11 p.m. plus 2 GMT. Come hang out with me, ask me some questions, I'm always open to chat. I do also have a Discord you can join if I'm not live streaming. Come and hang, it's a great community. Anyway, let's get started. Before we have a look at the bosses, I just have two quick tips. I recommend you use Blessed Sunfruit when you're in your AQ run if your guild is fast at clearing. Blessed Sunfruit gives you only 10 strength, but you just have to click it one and it instantly applies the food buff. The second thing is always be ready on your mount when you're about to go on a boss. Personally in this run I, uh, I tend to forget that and it gives me less uptime on the boss. So just two great tips to begin with and then we'll have a look at the bosses now. For every boss you want to strive to have max rage before you engage the boss. This way you'll get off from a good start and you can pump straight away. Anyway on Scarum you want to use Badge on the first attack and then you want to use Deathwish. You can actually use them together because it's only Deathwish that, that has a global cooldown. And then when you reach 6 Badge stacks or you have 21 seconds left on Deathwish you want to pop your Earth Strike. And then you want to use your Mighty Rage. Preferably use a Mighty Rage when you have no Rage, of course. But you want to use it when you have all the other cooldowns up. And so you get them all at the same time. And maximizing your damage. Watch out when you're cleaving or whirlwinding though. One of your teammates might be MC'd and you will kill him if you have all these buffs. So watch out for that. On Buck Trio, you want to... Pre-pop your diamond flask to not waste a global cooldown when you're on the boss. You want to use badge on the first attack and then you want to use death wish together with badge. And then depending on how quick you kill one of the dudes, you want to pop your mighty rage so you have it up with all the other cooldowns you just popped. And the three adds are still up. That way you can cleave and pump 100%. As for Recklessness, if you're cleaving, this shouldn't be needed depending on your gear again. But you can pop Recklessness on this boss, 16 seconds left on Deathwish. Or you can do it from the start, but I would be careful with that. You might pull aggro, especially if you are playing Horde. A quick reminder though, cleaving on this is only for parses. When you kill one of them, the other two will heal up to 100%. So it does not benefit your raid if you cleave. On Satura, you want to use... Badge from the get-go, first attack, then pop it with Death Wish. Then you want to pop your Earth Strike, and then you want to pop Wreck. And then you want to do your first Whirlwind. To cleave down these adds and get those fat parses. When you go on the boss, you want to use your lip when you go low HP. As you see, I popped it here at 40%. And just be careful, because the Whirlwind does really hurt. You don't want to lose your World Buffs in this boss. I actually did it last week because I uh, changed my keybinds and I, uh, I by mistake popped a fap instead of a lip. <laughs> so shit happens, you know. For the last two bosses, Bug Trio, Satura and Francris, I know I am putting on Wreck at every boss. But of course you can only use it one of those bosses. But I feel like on Francris, unless you're really lucky with your RNG crits, you will need to have Wreck to actually do a 99 on Francris. Anyways, this is just a Tang and Spang fight. You're gonna pop Deathwish when 31 seconds left, Earth Strike when 21 seconds left on Deathwish, and you're gonna use your Mighty Rage pot during Execute Phase when you have no Rage, and then Wreck at 16 seconds left. As for Visitus, I have not really tried parsing on this guy, but I would assume using Diamond Flash from the get go, Deathwish right after. And the Mighty Rage Potion is going to get you some high damage output on this guy. But there's not much to talk about this guy. He doesn't matter on the logs. But I just wanted to mention it, what I would do if you wanted to actually parse on Visitus. And of course you'd, you'd have to use your DPS gear. Here in this fight I'm of course using Nature Rest gear to uh, minimize damage, kill the boss faster. As for Huron, we are going to be using 
Death Riz went 31 seconds left of the boss fight. Airstrike, 21 seconds left on Death Wish. You can use Mighty Rage when you have no rage to execute phase and you can make a big fat execute with the rage you get from the pot. You can use Recklessness on this boss again, like the last three previous bosses. You decide where you want to use Rec. I just wanted to point out these are the fights that most people use them on, so you can use it later on. And of course, you want to be dispelled as long as you have like 5 6k HP. And it's not during the enrage phase, because you will die if you get dispelled under 30% HP, most likely. The next couple of bosses are a little bit more tricky. On Twin Embers, if you kill slower than 2 minutes and 20 seconds, you can actually use your Mighty Rage plus Earth Strike from the start. If you kill it slower than 3 minutes and 30 seconds, you can use your Death Wish plus Badge as well from the start together with the two other buffs. So why should you pop them from the start? Well, if you do so, you can actually use them again at the end of the fight. More damage. Simple as that. Whether you kill it faster than 2 minutes and 20 seconds or 3 minutes and 30 seconds, you will still be using your cooldowns in the end at the same time. What I do is I will, when he teleports, I want to go to him early. I want to use my badge and death wish together. And then I want to pop my earth strike when I have six badge stacks or I have 21 seconds left on death wish. As for mighty rage, you want to use this during execute phase like we've done previously. When you have no rage, so you do it right after a big fat execute that drains all your rage and then you want to pop the mighty rage. As for Uro, you want to, depending on how quick you kill it, if you quick kill it within one minute, you want to pre-pop your Diamond Flask. Otherwise, pop it when there is 61 seconds left of the fight. You want to pop Death Wish when there is 31 seconds left. And as for the knockback slash sweeps, you want to use Intercept on the first sweep if you get knocked. Then on the second one, you want to use a Lip so you don't get knocked back. And... On the third one, you want to use Intercept again. As you can see, I was late to the party. I forgot to mount here. So, uh, brain fart from my perspective. But, you know, it happens. I am trying to adapt every week. It's all about practicing. If you're struggling with threat, because you're probably playing Horde, or you have a bad tank on a line side, you can use a FAP instead and go out and eat a Sandblast to reduce your threat. But I have not done this myself, I have not tested it, so be careful, I guess. The reason why I use a FAP is so when you get Sandblast, you don't get stunned. You can also use a Lip as far as I know, so pick either one and go out and eat a Sandblast. And reduce your threat and pump again. The last boss fight of them all, Kefun, Sifun, however you want to pronounce his name. Of course, you want to mount and run in. Anyways, on this guy, it works the same as Twin Amps. If you kill slower than 2 minutes and 20 seconds, you can use Mighty Rage Pot plus Earth Strike from the start. If you kill it slower than 3 minutes and 30 seconds, you can use Death Wish together with Mighty Rage and Earth Strike from the start. Nonetheless, you're still gonna use your cooldowns at the end like everybody else. Death Wish, you wanna pop in the last phase when he's vulnerable, when there's... 31 seconds left till he's dying. You want to use your Earth Strike 21 seconds before he's dead. You want to use your Mighty Rage Pot when you have no rage. You've just used an Execute and you want to have lots of rage again for a new one. And you're going to pop your Recklessness when there's 16 seconds left on your Death Wish. As for the rest of the fight, remember to get Sunders on the target before he goes vulnerable. As for doing do Whirlwind, on him, you need to stack inside die, but not too far in to get knocked. And then you want to keep jumping, and then sometimes your whirlwinds will hit, but it's not a guarantee at all. I don't think I've actually hit one myself yet, um, but I've been trying, and uh, hopefully one day it'll happen. If you have any questions or the like, feel free to throw me a comment down below. A like and a sub would also be greatly appreciated. It definitely helps my channel. I do stream on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 7 to 11 p.m. plus 2 GMT. Come in and hang out with me. If I'm not online on Twitch, you can catch me on Discord. Link is down below. And as always, have a damn great day.